Well, could you do any better on your price on the croquet set? No. no. Welcome to Picking and Punching. I am the scoundrel Raw Grinds. I'm an independent professional wrestler, modern day treasure hunter, and a full time reseller. And today, we're going to take you guys along for the ride. We're going to hit up a bunch of yard sales, find items that we can resell online for a profit. So let's go. Good morning. Already hot and so it's not really out. <laughs> I was just here for a long day then. <laughs> How was your sale yesterday? Not bad. Of course, I closed up at 12 30. I said, I can't. I yeah, no, I don't. It's too darn hot. I said, No way. Yeah, <laughs> um. I have to get by here so I can oh, get my clothes out there. Okay. Okay. Uh. So you guys can get by here. I'm way back and I'm like, and the house was literally shaking. Yes, I'm so. like, oh no, don't go back by again. <laughs> so was Murray, my cat. Had a heart attack. I thought my dog flipped out, but I don't ever think a cat's flipping out. Oh, she's What do you have in your croquet set? Um, 20 bucks. Do you know how old it is? Yes, I don't know exactly how old it is, yeah. but I know it's old. Because the guy across the street told me already, if nobody buys it, he's getting it. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. <laughs> and when I punched his arm, he goes, you're, you're killing my plates. Was this bottom part homemade? You want yes, because it was... it's old and it, you know, it, it needed a little fixing. <laughs> well, could you do any better on your price on the croquet set? No. No. No, because I was going to put 25 and I said, now put 20 Because I know it's worth it. I've gone online to you know, yeah. see what new ones go for, let alone older ones. But like I said, the guy across the street's going to buy it, so. Which I think is kind of funny. Because these yards aren't that big. <laughs> no, I'll give you the 20 for it. Well, then I'll take it. <laughs> I figured I'll regret it if I pass it up. Good morning. Good morning. I haven't got anything labeled. All you have uh, to do is it, pay me what you want to pay me and away you go. Alright, no problem. Did you say I can look in here or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. The only thing, this area, back where it's hard to get to, is not for sale. These purses are for sale. Any idea where this other shoe is? No, nope, that's not my problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> you said these bags were for sale or they're not for sale? They are. Okay. How much you asking for the for this bag? You tell me what you want to pay and take them away. Would you do a buck a bag? Yep. Cool. Good morning again. Good morning again. How are you? Good. How are you? How much is a jersey? Ten bucks.
What is this? It's a the playing mat for the oh, gotcha. Pokemon cards. Yeah. How much are you asking for that? Two bucks. Two bucks. Do you guys have any Pokemon cards for sale? No, he wants to keep them all. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him. He doesn't really, I mean, he doesn't really use them, but he, I think he feels like they're going to be worth something, you know? Yeah, nice. No, <laughs> Would you do 15 if I buy the jersey and the shoes? Sure. Okay. Do you have any other jerseys, or is that it? That's the only one. What are you asking for the ice cream maker? Uh, 10. Does it work? Yeah, yeah, I only used it one time. The box is a little beat up. It's been, you know, moved How much is the Adidas tree? Another? So you use 16. How much is beer tap? Dollar. You guys have any like video games or um, comic books, stuff like that? No. No. How much are the shoes? When I walked up to the sale and I saw this entire section of teacher's edition books, I thought I hit a home run. Unfortunately, these don't sell for very much on, on eBay, and they were asking way too much, so I had to pass. Yeah. I was just looking at those. Uh... What did you, you guys say for the shoes? He said he wants 
Gotcha. I'll, I'll pass on those then. Thank you. Thank you. Have a little Georgie, but she's like a little princess in the house. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank Bye. you so much. I know you. Oh, what do you guys have in the books? Huh? What do you guys have in the books? Everything is offered. Offered? Okay. Like pro wrestling, like WWE. Okay. Yeah. Good morning. How are you? Good. 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 Um, I'll take those two things. Okay. What What do you guys want? I'm not gonna reject anything <laughs> you offer. Five bucks for the books and dollar for the stuff. Yeah, that's Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Yep. All right. So we got back from yard sale today, and let's just say today was a little rough. But we always show full transparency in this channel. We show the good with the bad. But let's go over some of the good pickups we did have today. We're still gonna make some money here, just not as much as we always like. Picked up these two plush today. I uh, paid a dollar for this Simba. I usually get five, ten bucks for plushies. So if I find them for a you know, dollar or less, I usually pick them up. But Nintendo and Disney stuff always sells really well. And I uh, paid a buck a piece for those. That one of the last yard sales we just went to, we picked up this Harry Potter box set. These box sets usually can bring decent money. Um, the only bad thing about this one is, is one, well, actually, a couple different things. One is, they're paperback the hardbacks actually sell a lot better and the books aren't in the best shape so i paid five bucks for this i still think i'll get about 20 bucks for this it should be it should be an easy sale we actually paid 20 dollars for this croquet set um it's all there has a custom bottom wood piece that I, they actually replaced on it but it's it is vintage these usually can bring good money um <clears throat> based on the condition of this it's not the best condition but it's play with and use I'm thinking we should probably get between 60 and 80 bucks for that. So I paid 20, so not a bad return on that. One of the yard sales that we went to, the guy had a bunch of van shoes. They were like brand new. He went at 30 bucks a piece for them, so it was actually too expensive. The mom probably would have sold them to me for super cheap, but the kids showed up and he wanted 30 bucks. So what are you gonna do? But I did pick this up from it. Beer tap, I always like to pick up beer taps when I can. I paid a buck for this. I should get about 10 bucks or so for that. One of the yard sales we went to, the lady was clearing out a storage unit for a friend of hers and just one of the stuff gone. My fiance has um, a Poshmark store called Pick and Pretty. I'll put the link down below here in the uh, description here. But so I did pick her up. If I do find things when I'm out and about, I pick them up if they're super cheap. Don't know what this is worth, but as Ken's Cole Reaction uh, purse has a strap inside. Looks like in decent condition, but it was only a dollar. So it can't go wrong a dollar. Maybe, I don't know, maybe she had 10, 20 bucks for it. But this was super cool. This is actually a vintage Mickey Mouse bag. And it is a little dirty inside here and it has a little mark on the bottom, but for a dollar, the colors, are, I mean, those colors scream 1990s. So for one dollar, can't beat that at all. I'm assuming we'll probably get 20 bucks, 30 bucks for that. Okay, got these Nike shoes. They're in really good condition. Um, these are the Nike Air Max. These usually sell brand new for about 150 bucks. I paid, she went to 10 bucks for them. I actually bundled a deal for those shoes. 
I got those shoes and then there was this Miami Dolphins brand new with the tags. It's a Nike jersey. So even though Stills is no longer with the team, I mean this beginning of football season, so football stuff is super hot right now. Uh, we should be able to get probably 20, 20 or 30 bucks for this. But I paid 15 bucks for the shoe and for this. I also got this for a dollar. This is actually an Adidas. This is a tracksuit jacket. Um, these usually bring 15, 20 bucks. So for a dollar, you can't go wrong. Uh, we'll put that up in the uh, posh store. These shoes used should probably bring about 60 to 80 bucks. So that was a great pickup there. So that was, that was the pickups for today, man. A little slow. We spent about 35 to 40 bucks. And we'll probably get about $200 for everything that we picked up today. Not the best of days, but hey, it could be worse. That's why it's so important to make sure you guys are always sourcing and always on the lookout for stuff. Because when those big buys come, you need to buy them. Because you never know when you're going to start hitting some slow, slow months or slow times. And uh, you always got to be sourcing. So, guys, thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite pickup was today. Until next time.